What's up LEGO Builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios for another week of building K-Town Moidia. This week is going to be another week of cables, another week of, you know, working out that pad for the city. I'm going to be stepping away from like actually building and I'm going to take a look with you guys at a picture of the actual city of Cato Nemoidia, specifically the whole area where the cables connect to the city and connect to the pad, which is connected to the rock work. So I'm really gonna brainstorm and kind of dive in right there and show you guys like what it actually looks like. So you guys can kind of see what I'm trying to replicate and what I'm copying, as well as helping me figure out like, okay, what exactly does this need to look like? Cause I'm still not sure where I'm gonna be putting the cables, if they're gonna be higher up towards the top of the platform in the middle or kind of down towards the bottom. Do also have some hauls, and of course there will be some good old fashioned time lapses coming your way. All that being said, it's time to start building. All right, I am I am starting the week off right with a Lego haul. So these are the parts that were supposed to come in last week for all the links and stuff. We've got a lot of weird looking parts in here as you can see. So I'm actually working on a couple of side mocks at the moment that aren't related to Ketone and Moidia. And so that's what all of this green is for and all the brown as well. I've got some green cylinders, green brick, basically stuff to create some kind of green mock, as you can guess. I also got some flowers in there. So you can see it's gonna be something pretty out of the norm, something I haven't done, something I haven't worked with in a while. I did also get some more ball joints, a bunch of ball sockets, and then dark bluish gray brick plate bunch of cheese slopes, and then there's some more plants for that side mock. I'm really excited for that side mock. In fact, I'm gonna be doing a live stream this week as I start on it. And then I got some more half pegs over here. Basically, these are all just parts for those uh, cable links that I'm gonna be building. Probably after this, I'm just gonna start building these. Maybe I'll do a time lapse of that. All in all, a very big haul and a very good haul. Great way to start off the week. Now that I've got all of the parts in for the links, I'm gonna go ahead and crank out a bunch of them so I can start playing with different designs and figure out like what I want the links to look like. So there are really only two different, three different kinds I build. So there's one link that has all ball, ball joints and then one link that has all socket joints. And then there's the link that um, one of the ball joints is offset so I can kind of get that angle. So, you know, one of the ball joints is higher than the other. So it kind of makes the, um, the link angle a certain direction. So those are what I'm gonna be building and I'm just gonna kind of repeat the process multiple times. I do like, I'm pretty happy with this design. I think this is gonna be what the final product will look like. Not a whole lot to say about these, but I thought it would be kind of cool to do a little time lapse so you guys can see them all coming together. All right guys, just like I said last week, we are gonna be taking a more detailed look at the pad section um, for the cities for Cato Nemordia, the actual pad section, not what I'm working on. Just cause I wanted to give you guys a closer look at what it is I'm trying to build. And for myself, of course, to kind of visualize what's going on here. Cause I haven't taken a real close look yet. So you guys can kind of see some similarities already between what I've been working on and the actual build and the actual city. You can see right here where the mouse is, there's a giant dark bluish gray pad that's kind of hooked into the actual mountainside. And then you've got some large cables that start at the top of the pad and kind of come down to the bottom where they meet these lower cables as well. So you can see there's multiple cables at work here and they kind of all condense together down here to create kind of one larger thick cable. So this is kind of what I'm trying to replicate as well. But now that I'm looking at this, I'm starting to notice some things that I didn't realize early on. You can see their cables are straight. They don't start out at a wide angle and then come into a smaller meeting point, if that makes sense. Basically, the cables are parallel from each other. They're not perpendicular at all, whereas mine are gonna be kind of perpendicular. That's why I created those angles. So I don't know, I probably will keep that even though they did their straight on just cause I feel like the perpendicular will look a little bit better. Um, one thing that I didn't realize is actually some of the cables are down here towards the bottom of the dark bluish gray pad. 
I didn't do that, unfortunately. So I may have to do some reworking on that pad, maybe take off part of it, stick some cable connections in down here at the bottom. That way you'll have these bottom cables that don't have much of a slope to them. And then at the top of the mock, I'll have two more cables with a much higher slope. Another thing I need to take into consideration is are four giant cables gonna fit together on the mock okay? You know, I don't want this to look overcrowded and I want them to be able to fit together. So I think I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of testing in the coming couple of weeks to kind of figure out like how many cables is too much and then I'm gonna figure out how am I gonna get them to all kind of connect together because you can see there's a little bit of separation right here um, so it looks like the cables are still not connected to each other but they basically are for all intents and purposes down at the bottom but now you can probably see some similarities between my cables and what they have you can see they're very thick you can almost see what look like ridges on the cable kind of like what i have where the ball joints connect into the socket you kind of have that little um, little indent or little valley and then it jumps back up where the top of where the top of the link is so I'm glad I was able to keep that looking pretty similar. Down where they connect to the city, I'm still not too sure what I'm gonna do. I'm actually thinking about just doing two small cable sections. So we're gonna have this cable section on this side, and then we're gonna have this cable section on this side over here. Instead of having like one long cable that spans the entirety of the mock and then the, you know, the city's built on top of that, I feel like that would be a lot of extra links to build. So I think I'll just have them connect on either end and then kind of bury them with like some kind of large plating, right, like that. Little side note, you guys can see here are some of the mountain tops that I've been building and putting in the bottom of the mock. You can see theirs are much taller than mine. I did this because obviously I'm not gonna be able to suspend my city this far off of the, this high up. That would mean I'd need like three feet of rock work. That, that would mean I'd need like two to three feet of rock work underneath the city and that would be ridiculously expensive and plus I want to have gunships and vulture droids flying around here so I decided to do much smaller kind of like imagine if you were just getting this little top section of each of the mountains so that's what those are supposed to represent. So now that you guys got that whole breakdown of Ketonomoidia and then what it looks like and kind of the specifics of this pad area we're going to jump back to what I've been working on. You can see I've made a lot of progress with the cables um, you saw you got to see some of these links come together in that time lapse so I've got a pretty decent length going on right here and now you can kind of see better like what my vision is for this and why I'm having them kind of come into the center like this because I want them to kind of all meet down at the same point and that's where they'll connect to the city. So I'll have these right here and then I'll probably have another set up above them that come down so everything meets at the same point. I just didn't want these to kind of just hang down like this, one at each end. I just felt like that wouldn't look very good for some reason, I honestly don't know why. I think hopefully as this build progresses, you guys will kind of get to see more of the vision that I have for this. But there is a problem. I'm, um, as I pointed out in that whole little, as I pointed out when we were looking at the pad area, there is a set of cables down here closer to the bottom and then another set up at the top. These are like kind of in the middle, so probably like the worst place I could have put them. This is why it would have been good for me to do what I did before starting these pads because I'm going to have the same problem over here. I'm probably going to have to break down to about right there. And then so what I'm going to do next is probably break this section and move these cables down so they're more like right there probably. However, as I'm standing here thinking about it, I actually might keep these right here. I'm afraid if I put these closer to the bottom, they're just kind of, they're just gonna stretch out flat until they connect to the city because, you know, the city's not gonna be down here. And so if I put them down at the very bottom and then have them hang down like I want them to, it's gonna go like this, and that means the city's gonna be just above the cloud work, and I don't want that. I want there to be some space underneath. So now that I'm thinking about it, I might actually try leaving these where they're at so they kind of hang down like this, and then having another set kind of up here, kind of closer to them. So maybe there will be less of a gap between these two cables, but they'll both be higher up on the pad. I think I might actually go with that option. That'll just save me having to break all this, and I think it'll probably look better to have both of these cables kind of hanging down and 
being up above the city you know what i mean you don't want the bottom section you don't want these bottom cables being on the same plane as the city because then the city is going to have to hang down even lower if that makes sense all right guys here is the last update for the week so i kind of i think i finally picked a final resting place for these cables funny enough it's actually in the exact same spot where it was originally so i took this whole thing i took this whole section apart moved these down i think three layers of brick so they're kind of down here I didn't really like that. I felt like it was too low. So I ended up moving them back up to where they originally were. And that was, but that was after also moving these down. So I had to change both sections. So there's a lot of tearing down and rebuilding all for the same result. But I'm now much happier with where the position is. And I feel like it's where I want it to be. So I feel like that was necessary for me to see like, oh yeah, that would be too low. I also added these smaller cables right here. You can see connecting from the larger cables to the wall. So I did this because I felt like this kind of this whole section was a little too plain. There wasn't a lot going on and it just didn't look very realistic to me. So I felt like adding an extra cable in here or an extra two cables, I guess, would just add more to this and give you more to the look at and make it feel like there's a lot more going on here. You know, you've got your larger support cables and then you've got even smaller cables supporting those, making this whole thing feel like, you know, making this whole thing feel bigger and much more industrial. I haven't finished them. This is just like what the rough skeleton looks like. So you're gonna have like cheese slopes and stuff on top to match these. These are purely aesthetic. They don't have any kind of function to them, but I do like the way they look. So I've got part of one in over here. Over here on this side, I've got the starts of both of the cables. So I got some in and then this is gonna be where those secondary cables go. And then you can see over here on the back, I finally got these support rods in. So now this whole thing is nice and secure. Very happy with that because now I can cover over this area and then cover over that area and just keep working up. I'd kind of been putting this off because I wasn't looking forward to doing it, but it wasn't too hard. And you notice, and you can see I have only two rods, whereas over there I was gonna put a th I was gonna put three in. I actually decided to do just two because this isn't gonna be supporting any kind of weight right here. This is just to keep to make these two sections connected. So I felt like I didn't need a third one. That's not gonna add anything to like the structural integrity of this section and it's only going to use more filler brick so i took one of the rods out over there as well so i think that'll save me some filler brick which will be nice all in all that wraps up this episode another good week this was kind of a planning week i want to start doing that more often with cato nemoidia because i feel like this mock especially i've never done something like this before there's going to be a lot of planning and a lot of design i don't want to I want to make sure, you know, I want to keep you guys involved with that. And it's also nice because I don't have to spend as much of the update constantly building, putting down bricks, doing rock work. You know, I can take a break from that. All that being said, it's time to go hit the outro. Well, there goes another week of building K-Tone Moidia. I'm pretty happy with the progress that was made. It was nice to kind of sit down and really figure out, like, what I want that cable section to look like. And now I feel like I can move forward much quicker and much more confidently knowing like, okay, this is what I want to do. Because before it was kind of like, I know like 85% what I want this to look like. So I'm going to keep building anyways. And, you know, maybe tear down a little part, rebuild another part. And I wasn't very happy with it, I think for that reason. But I think I'm starting to become more happy and more satisfied with how it's looking. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. And of course, feel free to let me know what you thought of this episode down below in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future content. But until next time, happy building.